What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Phase 6, your source for music, business, motivation, and support. Today I got a really good topic for you guys. We're going to talk about synergy, expanding your opportunities in order to expand your success. This is going to be really good for all you guys out there just looking to take your career to the next level. Let's get into it, Phase 6. Alright guys, so I'm really excited because I just had an amazing weekend. Uh, we just pulled off a really, really dope uh, music video for a really, you know, great price and was able to get everything done uh, relatively well because was able to synergize and link up with an amazing uh, video team. And, um, you know, there were some conversations that transpired between myself and that team and other people around um, about how we were able to, to make those type of things transpire and how we've been able to do similar things, you know, in other situations in the past. And I just felt like some of the information that I gave off, I, it's, it's worth you guys understanding, it's worth you guys knowing. All right, so you guys may ask me, how do I begin the process of synergizing with other people? Okay, well, let's go into it. We're going to break this down and just make it really easy for you guys. Step one, identify your need. Okay, you have to understand what it is that you're looking for, okay, and what it is that you provide to other people. So I would say in that same step, identify your need and understand yourself. If you have, if you can do that in step one, it's going to first off open the door to giving you some type of direction and roadmap to figuring out where I need to go. So do you need help with, with photos and videos? Do you need help with, with booking shows? Do you need help with, I don't know what you need help with, but you yourself can identify that. That's step one. And also in that same step, understand what you're good at what you're great at what your team brings to the table because this is going to be your negotiating chip as you go into step two step two understand this i wake up every day and i say this to myself and i think you guys should take on this habit it's not about you okay it's not about you anytime you're making a pitch to somebody else you're trying to figure out how this can be beneficial to them Right? What can I bring into your world that's going to make what you're doing better? That's the whole purpose of Synergy. I have a team that is great at XYZ. I see that your team is doing XYZ. If we were to come together, I can see how what I'm doing will directly impact what you're doing. So, for example, you may have a, a certain fan base that you reach in what you're doing. And the other group or entity may have a certain fan base that they reach in what they're doing. And you may... And if the fan bases are different, you can pitch to them and say, hey, listen, I believe that's an opportunity for us to come together and really win together because I see here that you, you guys aren't necessarily strong in this demographic. We're very strong in this demographic, but we're not as strong in, in your demographic. If we come together, we can kind of cross brand and allow both of us to gain fans as we move forward in our careers. That's just an example, right? However, whatever it is that you want to obtain from the other person you have to first figure out what do they gain out of working with you because it's not a take situation synergy is about two people coming together and both growing from the situation that's the only way you both move up to the next level if at any given time one person is gaining more than the other right that means that you're doing some type of leeching is, is involved in this situation so if they're at a level three you're at a level one either a they have you in a situation where they're going to be able to have leverage and take something from you force you know they may be able to force you to pay them they may be able to put you in a contract take some type of ownership they're going to, they're going to come at you with a different type of leverage because they are in a different situation than you but however if you meet somebody that's at your same level that's working hard that's just as talented as you and your team you may be able to produce a product at that same level without having to give up anything Step three, don't be scared to communicate, right? For women, this may, this may come off a little, a little weird what I'm about to say, but I think all the men are going to get it, and I think women, you might catch this too, but I look at business like a relationship, all right? So if I walk into, if, if I'm trying to start a relationship, you know, normally you have to walk up as a guy, you have to walk up to, to a woman and, and say something to her. The moment, in my book, the moment we connect eyes, we are now engaged. If I look at you and I look away from you and I start walking away and I start looking unconfident, the whole, the whole deal is done. So if I don't want to talk to you just yet, I'm not going to pay no attention to you for the first X amount of time. But the moment we lock in, I have to engage. Okay, I take that into my business practice. The moment I see something of value that I say I need to be a part of this, I engage immediately. You can't wait. You have to just go for it. There is no right way to do it. You have to reach out and you have to start communicating. Now, there are some key things you can do text-wise, language-wise, that can help you be more successful, okay? Those things include knowing your jargon, okay? Know the jargon of your industry, all right? 
For example, in some fields, they don't say industry, they say field. Und key things like that will be indicators to let a person know that you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, in the music industry, for example, if you're talking to somebody that's in the business and you talk about music, you call them records. You don't call it, you know, music or the MP3 or, you know, you call it records. So if you walk up to somebody and you're not saying records every time you talk about music, it's a key indicator that you're not really in the space performing like, you know, you say you may be. So understanding the jargon of your demographic, of your market, is very important to starting that conversation. Two, you also want to make sure that you understand the value that you're bringing to them. So when you do do your pitch, you make sure you lead with the value that you're bringing to them. Remember, it's not about you. So you're not talking about you and what you can do for them and how you can make this happen for them. Like, just because you're pitching a, a, an opportunity for them, you still have to take your frame out of it. Example. If I said, hey, listen, man, I feel like I can do this for you and we can, my team can do this and we can do this and we can, it's going to be more we's and I's and it's, it's still about me, even though I'm talking about doing something for you, right? Instead, you want to change the conversation to, listen, I see what you're doing and I think there's a great opportunity for you to be successful if you're involved in something like this. Now, currently, my team is involved in something like that and I believe there's an opportunity that if we work together, then you can get this and you can get that and, and you can can be in a position for this, that, and the third. Now, you may ask yourself, when do I tell them about what I want to say? Like, do I ever mention, you know, what I want to do and my goals in this? Likely, if you're having a conversation, it's going to naturally occur. Once you open the doors to a conversation, right, it's going to be a dialogue. They're going to say something. They're, you're going to say something. They're going to want to understand your vision. A, a, a great question to ask when I talk to somebody is I ask them, what's your vision? What are your goals? What, your, where are you right now and where do you want to be? Because if I'm involved with you in any type of way, I want to make sure that your goal is being accomplished and my goal is being accomplished. I'm going to tweak what I'm doing and make sure that you're successful with what you're trying to do at the same time. Right? This is just some type of language that, that I may use on the call. Because at some point in time, they're going to ask you, what do you want? And still, in that conversation, I may say, well, look, I'm looking to get this, this, this done. I have a vision of creating this, 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 that, and the third. And I can see how someone like you being a part of that can be beneficial, blah, 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 blah. All right? In my personal opinion, stay off yourself. Stay on them longer because in any, any situation where you're reaching out to somebody, they're more important than you in that moment. All right, they may not like overall be more important to you, but you should treat them as such and give them that type of respect and, and, and care and quality. The last thing I say about it is have your shit together. All right, when you reach out to somebody and, and, and you start engaging in that conversation, make sure you can send them to something. Hey, check out this link. Hey, hey look at this. Check this out. Give me your thoughts on this. I'm going to get back at you in, in, in a couple hours and, and, and see how you feel about this, that, and the third. All right, make sure that everything is lined up and that you can fact check and present yourself in, in a good way. If your portfolio is not on point, then you should be trying to synergize with someone else's, with someone else whose portfolio isn't on point either. Remember, one of the key things about synergizing is you want to be with somebody that's at the same level as you. And if you're constantly growing, that means you're synergizing with somebody else that's also growing and that's what allows you both to grow faster, right? All right, last part about making a connection happen with the opportunity is take care of your people, all right? Anytime you work with somebody, make sure you take care of them. Now, I don't know what that looks like um, for you and your situation. It may be food, it may be shelter, it, you know, just basic things such as that. Uh, it may be remembering to call back, remembering to send that email. Uh, you said you told someone so that you're going to give them X amount of dollars for this X amount of thing. Make sure they don't have to call you and ask for it. Make sure you're sending them an email or text saying, hey, reach out to my accountant. Hey, let's do this. Here is the number. We're going to call you on such and such a day. Don't make people guess. All right, don't turn people into a bill collector because people don't want to feel that way when they're working with you, right? Make sure that people are always comfortable, that everything is always taken care of so that way they always want to come back and work with you again, all right? Now, if you take these tips and you're able to identify some people in the market, experiment, give it a shot. Reach out to somebody, DM them. DM the person and say, listen, you know, make sure they're, you know, like I said, the level thing. Make sure you guys are almost evenly yoked. You're both moving in the same direction. Reach out to them and say, listen, I see what you're doing. I love what you're doing. And I think there's an opportunity for you to really do more in this market uh, by getting involved in this right here. Check this out. Try that. Send, send that to somebody. 
and see what type of response that you get. To see if that starts the conversation for you, right? And then continue the conversation from there and put yourself in an opportunity to work with people and synergize and grow and expand outward so that you can expand upward, all right? Now, I don't know everything, but I know a lot about a little and a little about a lot. And I promise every time I get on this thing, I'm giving you guys everything I got. My name is Sir Love. I got a lot for you at www.phasevi, that's phase six, phasevi.com. I put a lot of videos, uh, all these videos are on there, different documents. Uh, things of that nature that you can download that will help you in your career, uh, whatever I can provide. If I think about it, if you ask for it, you send me a message on the site or, or a comment or something like that, I try to do what I can to help the community out here because everybody's trying to win. And the more people winning in the market, the more opportunity for us to synergize and for all, uh, for all of us to continue growing, right? So uh, take care, man. I don't know everything, but I know a lot about a little, a little about a lot, and giving everything I got every time.